Women cheat when these three things happen. In today's video, I'm going to discuss why women cheat and I'm going to discuss signs to look out for when they're cheating and also really what type of women out there will cheat and the reasons why as a woman myself. I know this is a really heavy topic for some, either you've been cheated on or you've had a woman cheat in you in your life or you've cheated as well. I'm a big believer that cheating has a lot to do with the other person more than yourself. Cheating happens in different various reasons and we're gonna talk about that today. So make sure you stay tuned. All right, now let's get into the first topic. Can a woman still cheat if she loves you? So this is a popular question and I understand why, because a lot of emotions are involved when someone cheats because you also, especially if you are in a monogamous relationship, don't allow another person to be involved in your relationship. So I do believe, and I think it's up for grabs at this point by opinions, but I don't believe that someone it doesn't come down to love is what I'm trying to say as far as someone cheats. What it comes down to is values, respect, and the overall relationship and the story of your relationship. So I don't know if I can answer a yes or no on a woman can cheat to be completely honest because everybody experiences love differently. And that's why I'm a big, big believer that I say love teaches us the biggest lessons in life. And so when we experience cheating and a woman is cheating on us, we can question, does she really love me? Especially if a woman's cheated and you found out and then she's like, but I still love you. Can we please make this work? I messed up, especially if it's come to that circumstance, or if you think that she's cheating and you're questioning if she even loves you. So I'm gonna go over different scenarios in today's video as well. But when a woman says that she loves you, you have to be, it also depends on her and your relationship. Here's what I mean by this. Everybody experiences love differently. And I know for a fact that there's a lot of attachment styles out there and a lot of us know about attachment styles. And many of us can act off of a secure attachment style that we only hope to be in and that will help us thrive in a healthy relationship. We have anxious attachment styles and we also have avoidant attachment styles and fearful based attachment styles all over the spectrum. And I have some videos about attachment styles and I'll definitely pin them below. But one of the most important things that I think we need to understand is why we're in a point in our relationship considering if she even loves you if she cheated because people experience love different ways there's people out there that will love you but still want to be intimate with other people maybe they're just not meant for a relationship that is monogamous maybe they want an open relationship more than ever right also too that comes down to what i'm saying is your values so we have to also look at how someone wants to be loved because i think a lot of times someone can cheat and their idea of love is can be here but they still have like for example so much to work on they have a lot of insecurities about himself. Maybe this woman thrives on attention. Well, this is, she can only love herself here because this is the capacity that she's allowing herself to be loved. So she can only meet you there as well. But that's why I say, men, you have to set standards for the women you date and get really good in healing from the inside out for yourself. So you can also choose and be in flow to choose a woman that is there as well. Because why settle for a woman that can meet you and love you here when she does the work, she can meet you at the highest point because she loves herself wholeheartedly that she knows for a fact that this is the type of love that she wants. So she's going to look for a man like this too, because if she can love herself wholeheartedly, then she can love you too. I'm a big believer that if someone was to cheat, there's a lack of things that are happening in the relationship as far as communication, emotional availability. And this is what thrives, makes people thrive in relationships and healthy relationships. It's not that we have chemistry every single day that we wake up. No, it's that the compatibility is there. Our values are aligned. There's an emotional connection as far as emotional communication. There's effective communication. There's a lot of awareness that goes on in the relationship. So it's in, an interesting interesting that people avoid confrontation because they think it's going to lead to conflict and then there's no going to be no resolution. 
But the marriages that thrive are the marriages that actually talk about, listen, I'm not enjoying my sex life or I'm not, you're not there for me. How do we change this? And actually being aware enough in the relationship to make those protocols, even if it hurts and make those changes and being aware of them and also seeking help when you need to. Let's go into the second topic that we're going to talk about in regards to cheating. Now, a lot of you want to know why women cheat. I myself am a big believer that more than ever does it. This is not a stamp of approval. This is not a hundred percent. This is not a study guys. So don't take my words literally because there are also other women that cheat because of sexual experiences. But I believe that women do cheat because of an emotional experience. Most first and foremost, most women will cheat because they're not getting emotionally connected or they're not emotionally being able to be seen in their marriage or in their relationship. I think that there is a variety of things that can happen depending on the woman. So for example, why I say this is because if you're dating a woman in her twenties and young, and she's not looking for anything sustainable or long-term, but wants to be with you and it's cute and it's dandy and all of these other things are happening, then great. And so a younger woman will probably have more of a mindset of being a free life and freebie and just really not giving you sustainability in the relationship. So less commitment, lack of future talk. And even if she talks, it's not about her talks. It's about the actions. And that's why I can't preach this enough. It's so important for a man to find a woman that he knows that he wants. And in order for you to know what you want, you have to get clear in that. And that's what I teach a lot on this YouTube channel. And in this, I think a lot of women do emotionally cheat because they're not being seen. They're not being heard, especially when children are happening, long-term relationships, relationships just in general after you move in and so on. So one of the things that I want to touch on is when a woman desires emotional connection and sexual needs are not being met and she probably vocalized this completely probably all the time to you or a handful of times to you and you somewhat avoided it or you said yeah it'll get better and you kind of put it on the back burner but you never show up what happens here is it makes a woman step more into her masculine and so I'm a big believer in polarity in a relationship. When a woman starts to step more in her masculine and she kind of looks at you like he doesn't take charge, he doesn't care. He's only focusing on work and I'm telling him my emotional needs and my sexual needs are not being met. And he's really just doing the same thing all the time. So that will lose attraction because one of the biggest things in the masculine frame is the follow through and the lack of follow through is what will turn a woman off. And so many times this happens in long-term relationships with couples because we get to the point where we feel complacent and this person's never going to leave us. But yet the reality shock happens when they do leave us because we can never take a person for granted, especially in marriages when you grow and you start that woman starts to choose herself and she's being honest with you and she continues to choose herself, she will end up leaving you. And so alluding to this is... Another reason why a woman will treat is because she's lost in regards to life and she's trying to figure it out. So for example, there's a couple situations, you know, and I know this from coaching and I don't want to, you guys to pit this video and say, this is me because every situation is different. And so I'm going to try to openly talk about different situations so you can connect to see if this is happening to you. And so she's lost. So maybe she makes some new single girlfriends. Maybe she's going out drinking a lot. You notice that she's going clubbing and it's kind of like a midlife crisis kind of thing that's happening. Typically this will happen in relationships and marriages where she's very young and she met you and she's been with you for 20, 25, 30 years. And she wants this experience that she's been craving and she couldn't have. So she feels like she's lost her sense of identity because she's been a mother or she's only been a wife and she's trying to find some sense of identity. Now I'm not excusing this behavior by saying this, but I'm saying that this is another reason why a woman will cheat is because she's trying to search for her identity. So that's why I say cheating doesn't have everything to do with you. It has a, everything to do with the person that cheated because they weren't all the time being open in communication. That's why I say every case is different. Now, with that said, I think that the next one we should go into is a, why a woman will cheat. Number three is because she feels trapped, right? She feels trapped in how you are. Maybe you're controlling. Maybe you're not emotionally available like we've been talking about. And maybe you're abusive, right? Abusive, not meaning just physical, but mentally, verbally, emotionally as well. And so these three things is why a woman will treat, especially if you're controlling. Now, I want to go over these three things. Controlling stems from insecurities. And if you're someone that you feel like you're trying to always stem and control is because you don't trust yourself. And this is where the inner work needs to happen. 
If you lack emotional availability, it's because you don't, you're not emotionally available to yourself and you're shutting off your emotions within yourself and you're not listening to them. So you suppress a lot of things. Number three is abusive. Abusive is a form of not trusting yourself, being insecure, having to control and having to dominate. No man or no woman should ever suffer abuse. And this is another reason why someone would cheat. Now let's get into another reason why a woman will treat Typically a narcissist will cheat. Not all narcissists will cheat. I don't want you to like everything that I'm saying, guys, you got to take at the cover because it all depends on a relationship. That's why I do a lot of coaching sessions. That's why I have my membership. If you want to take advantage of my membership and have weekly calls with me, I want you to sign up for my seven day free trial. I'll link that below and I'll put it up here on the cards. Now, when it comes to a narcissist, what's really important to understand in a narcissist type of environment, when we have someone that is highly narcissist, what happens here is they have a very big lack of empathy. And so they have a lot of selfishness. And so they might even manipulate you or gaslight you to thinking that they now want an open relationship and you're open to it because they love you and all this stuff, but yet they don't want you to do it either. They don't want you to sleep with anybody. Sound familiar? So there's some things that have happened when it comes to and revolving around cheating and they become really selfish in love. Number four is your values are not aligned. I see many relationships going into six months relationships, eight month relationships, and then talking about having an open relationship, then talking about how they want to be uh, pleased sexually in the bedroom, how they want to be doing different life goals and traveling the world where the other one just wants to build a business at home. Right. And so when your values aren't aligned, it's really important to understand the dating process is where you really kind of scale and really figuring out the long-term growth. The better you are at assessing in your dating process, the better your relationships will keep become in the future. Because many of us avoid these conversations and then our values aren't aligned and we end up emotionally cheating or verbally cheating or physically cheating. And this is really important. And now going into this, many women, I do believe cheat emotionally more. And I do think women exit emotionally before they actually exit the relationship. But many times when a woman emotionally cheats on you, it's because she's getting that attention. She's getting that validation. And so when I go back to the last one, when I say that the values aren't aligned, it's really important to understand if you are dating a woman that's constantly seeking attention, this is a big red flag and goes into my other video that I said, the top women that cheat. And if she's always seeking attention, especially from other men, and you think that if she's with you, it'll stop guys, listen up. Someone's behavior is never to be disguised by your own lens. Let me repeat. A woman's behavior is not to be disguised by your lens, period. And so when I do think that a woman is always seeking attention and then you get in relationships, this woman will also seek relationship with other men, maybe attention physically, emotionally, verbally, whatever it is. And so if you're not aligned with that, then that's something that you should not put on the back burner or not let's pay attention to or disguise in a way. Now, when I say that women emotionally cheat, I definitely want you to think about this. Women gain, gain attraction because of how they feel emotionally for a man. So this is big on cheating as well. And I also do believe that in a long-term relationship, most of the time a woman will exit out emotionally before she's with you and before she breaks up with you. And there are a lot of warning signs and I'll do a video about that. And then the last one of a reason why she'll cheat that I've actually seen a lot in my coaching as well is she questions her sexuality. Many women actually have this in their head, this mentality of, I need to have a marriage. I need to have a white picket fence and I need to have kids. And sometimes when she questions her sexuality, it's because she thinks she's maybe bisexual or she's maybe a lesbian. And so she'll end up cheating with you on another woman or so on. So what's important is that you identify these early on and have these conversations about sexuality, be open. And also in the dating process, if you're able to have these sex sexual conversations about your needs, wants, and, you know, and, and fantasies, let's say, it helps you get better connected and ignite sexual connection within you guys long-term and immediately.
And so now the last one I want to go into is warning signs that she is cheating. Many of you have asked me to do a video about warning signs that she's cheating. And this is also warning signs that I've actually seen with my clients and just talking to women and being a woman myself. So number one, I think everybody knows, should know this is if she's secretive about her phone, if she's taking it everywhere, if she's putting it on do not disturb at night, and she's never done that before, if she's taking it when she's uh, feeding the babies or when she's taking a shower or when she's in the living room, she takes it back to with her in the living room from leaving it in the kitchen. But the old her would just leave it in the kitchen like no, no worries, but just constantly glued. And you see a behavioral change. Number two in this is you've noticed that she is taking pride in her appearance. Maybe she's changing a lot of what she looks like. Maybe she's dressing sexier than she did. Now there, and she's working out. Now there's a difference between a woman trying to be healthy for you and she's really wanting you to be there with her and she's really wanting you to do it with her. And she's talking to you about like, you know, how she's not feeling good and she wants to get back to this. And then you see it happening, but all of a sudden, and she's leaving the house differently. These are the things that you have to look at, especially stack signals. When I say this one thing, Thing. It doesn't mean that this is it. You want to look for stack signals. Number three is she is not available on late nights. And when you call her, you continue to call her, maybe you call her 10 times and she never picks up. And it seems like it's excuse at for excuse, excuse. And she's coming home late. She's not available as much as you, she was before. And these tendencies start to fall off. And a very popular one is, especially if you're in a marriage or long-term relationship, I've seen this is she's having a friend that's a male and it's a guy. And all of a sudden you just can't meet him really, right? She talks about him, you know about him. So it's a kind of like a form of manipulation. It makes you go crazy and you're like, what is this guy? So she is very secretive about this relationship with this guy, but she's also tells you that she's just friends with him, but yet you can't meet him. And then you've probably see them texting and she's giggling and things like that. That's something that you want to be careful of because that's how those emotional connections start. And if you see this happening, I think it's really important just to address it and go off of your feelings of pure honesty, because that's all you can do. And then ask yourself what got us here that led us here. And then last but not least of a warning sign that she may be cheating. Actually two more signs is, you know, Notice that she's saying so many white lies and they're just catching up with her. Like she has this nervous energy about her and she lies about this microphone not being here, but it was over here. Or this computer was charged yesterday, but all of a sudden it's dead. It like the littlest white lies that she says, yeah, I'll make dinner. I made dinner tonight, but she really did it. You know, things like this you want to really connect with because typically when a woman has a lot of white lies, it's because of the fact that she is hiding something and she is insecure and it comes from nervous energy. The last but not least in regards to warning signs she's cheating is that she accuses you of cheating. Okay. This is a big one. Many people that cheat accuse the other person of cheating because they become so insecure from what they're doing. Especially if you're like, how would I even have time to cheat? I'm going to work. I come home and I do this and you're really not cheating, but she accuses you of cheating, but there's no really signs that you are cheating. That is very, very important. What I want you to do is I want you to watch the next video. What the next video is over here is a video about the type of women that will cheat. Go ahead and watch that next video, comment below. And if this is your first time visiting, I welcome you to subscribe. As always, thank you for watching and remember you are always loved. Bye for now.